signs plastered across these barrels, prompting an emergency response from St. Louis firefighters tonight. They're working to get to the bottom of what's inside these containers dumped in this West St. Louis alley. We checked out the situation after a News 4 viewer alerted us to the barrels near Del Mar and North Taylor. Despite a visit from the city health department, they still remain. Only News 4's Alexis Edos is digging into what happens next and the potential danger this dumping poses to you. Court, we all know that the trash is supposed to go in the dumpsters, but we also know that is not always the case when you see a lot of the garbage that's dumped in St. Louis alleys. But these barrels that were discovered in that North St. Louis alley, that's a bit more unusual, and it prompted a multi-department response. And it had a caution sign, danger caution substance inside. Bright blue barrels marked with danger signs avoid any contact have been a frightening sight for neighbors in the Van Deventer neighborhood for a week now. What was your biggest worry when you saw those? My biggest worry was maybe some kids would come back there and mess with it. Maybe somebody would open it up being nosy. This woman who didn't want to show her face on camera said she saw the barrels while helping a friend take out the trash behind a home on Enright Avenue. A neighbor filed a complaint with the city on Sunday. A spokesperson for the health department says their crews investigated and put labels on the barrels. They're currently waiting on the Missouri Department of Natural Resources to identify what's inside before they can determine how to dispose of the waste. The barrels sit behind an abandoned house. The alley has other illegal dumping. It's a problem across the city of St. Louis. Do you think that more needs to be done to stop the illegal dumping in our alleys? Yes, more need to be done like cameras. The city has stepped up their efforts, spending $1 million of American Rescue Plan funds to install more cameras to catch illegal dumpers. Last year, they had a record number of citations, 818 charges. Over half of those cited do not live in the city of St. Louis. But containers like these of unknown potentially hazardous substances are much less common. The city could not provide News 4 a timeline on when the Department of Natural Resources would be out to investigate and when the barrels would be removed. This woman just hopes by raising awareness, something will happen sooner rather than later. I just wish that North St. Louis had the same kind of treatment because those barrels were there for like a whole week. So we just heard from St. Louis City Fire Department. They sent their hazardous materials task force out to that alley tonight after we made some calls. What they discovered was that there was not any hazardous liquids in those barrels. They tell us they found what appeared to be broken up pieces of flooring. They have resealed those up. They also knocked on the doors of the neighbors there late tonight to let them know what they discovered. But they